Okay, let's start. All right, let's go. What's this girl name? Do we know her name? Uh, you know, we don't know the girl name. Yeah, I don't. I don't know the girl. Sister, name. why didn't you get your money from the door? That's my first question. Why did you not make him pay you from the top? If you done been flewed out before, and that tongue video, you know that you look different in that tongue video than you even look in this video. And it's no shade. I'm not being shady. So don't even come at this. If you if they tag you or show you this video saying that I'm attacking a black woman because I'm not. Because we were, we're all over here looking and we're thinking this. Now, he, he saw that tongue video, and that's a nigga. He's a married nigga. So you know he saw that tongue video. He wanted you to come suck that dick or stick that tongue in his ass. That's what he wanted. Now, you don't look the same in that tongue video, and it's okay. <laughs> because when you got on the plane, you had your braids and you had your shades on. We saw that. You get what I'm saying? And so, you know, we all know what it, what a fluid out situation mean, okay? Um, That tongue video actually had me over here like, damn. So I know if it had me over here like, damn, he was definitely bamboozled by that tone video and then, <laughs> then saw you in person. Now, two, I'm not reading you, sister, right? Because I wear baby hairs, too. But them baby hairs, real, real grown up. Them not baby hairs no more. Those are senior citizens. <laughs> and this not a read. We got to get, get that girl to not make them so thick and bring them down here. We can't do that. I think that you a cute girl. But them baby hairs is real. They are fuerte. Them bitches is real fuerte. Wait, you said they're senior citizen hair? Yes. <laughs> them baby hairs is having a lot of... That's a thick-ass lace that that baby hair... Tra- <laughs> baby hairs trying to hide. There was some strong lace. Uh, strong lace. But my thing is that you... you, you, you why didn't you get your money first? Why didn't you get your money first? You get what I'm saying? Why wasn't that a requirement from like from the, the top? Like you didn't gather up your your monies in the beginning because that's the, usually when you're dealing with y'all ladies out there to deal with celebrity niggas. Make sure that you get wired, receive your wire, put your money up, get 70 percent of your money and the 30 percent you pick up in the end or get 100 percent of it. Craig, what are your questions? Why would she complain though about like how he flew her out and all this kind of stuff? Like, and like if you're gonna do a video like that, critiquing and go, like she should have straightened up the background. She should have straightened up her background. Like, mm-hmm. and shit all on the floor in the background. I don't know if anybody else noticed that. But it's like, how are you gonna pick apart being flown out on a private jet? And the background of your place looks like this storm is just going to be here. Ugh. Like, it's just, a, and I don't even want to touch the hair because I know black women get really sensitive about that. Hold on, say, hold on. Golden, don't do this. So I'm not hold on. Golden Queen says, roasting a black woman regardless how gullible she was and thirsty. Okay, we can admit it, but it's dragging a black woman. It's so messy. All right. Hold on. Craig, let me say this. Black women. Do not do things publicly and think that people are not going to have an opinion about it. If you a black woman and you stand for black woman and you own the black woman thing, like everything is about black woman, black woman, don't do shit that people going to have to talk about. And me as a commentator on stuff, I'm going to talk about it because it's in the public and I have the right to, to my opinion about it. And <clears throat> I'm not dragging her. You with your eyes see that those baby hairs is almost a bang. You see that. With your eyes, you see that this that this girl's but they, I did not say this girl was not attractive. I said those bangs. You see her sticking out her tongue. That man flew her there because he wanted her tongue either on his dick or in his ass. Okay, y'all got to stop with this black woman stuff, and you under attack, and somebody's attacking you. You a black woman, and this we dragging you, ma'am. You did this stuff in public. This is all over social media. Black people, black people, whether they are are bio or trans, are going to talk about this. 
Stop it. Sometimes Stop it. Fatigue. You are not a victim. This woman is not a victim. This woman came forward and she shared her experience and we're talking about what she shared on a commentary show. I didn't call her no bitch, puss ass hoe. Uh, I didn't do any of that. So she's not being drugged. We are laying those baby hairs. <laughs> we are laying those baby hairs out. Because they deserve to be wore out. No, but they are laid out, though. Yes, too far. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do that. Y'all always try to find some way to ski in, to ski to slide in and be like TS Master drags black women. Don't do that. <laughs> Sometimes it's just a critique. Don't 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 do that. You don't want nobody talking about what black women do. Don't do the shit. Don't do that. She drug her. That's right. She dragged herself, Robbins. <laughs> Don't do that. Y'all gotta stop doing that shit and be able to like, girl, but I'm a black woman. Talk to your sister. Cause we talking to your sister right now. We telling your sister and my sister, get your money up front. Why are you not getting your money up front? Why as a black woman, Involving yourself in adultery, because let's go to the Bible, because I know y'all gonna go to the Bible about how I'm a man in the Bible say, it, it, since we we're involving yourself in adultery and fornication. I thought you were reaching for a Bible for real. No, <laughs> let's get in that. Let's go biblical. Let's go biblical. Why are you indulging in that? Hurting another black woman whose husband is flying you out. You're hurting her. No, and that's true. If you really want to get deep since into we, it, since we're talking about really you know, into dragging it, you a really black just... woman, you're hurting another black woman. You're fucking her husband, right? And you know what? When we were talking earlier about protecting black women, I believe in protecting black women across the board. Board, not yes. Just in certain areas, so yes. We got to talk about protecting black women in another woman's relationship. That's true. You know that's I mean? true. Since right. we're talking, I agree. Right. I agree. I, I'm finna start hitting y'all with this shit. Every time y'all come sideways with me about some shit about something, you can hit with this. Like since since we're talking, that's true. That Protect her by not sleeping with a man. Right. Right. Go ahead. You know that you if you knew he was young blue and he had a motherfucking and he you know that he's married. Hit his wife and tell his wife, yo nigga trying to fly me out, sister. I'm I'm protecting you as a black woman from right. this nigga. Right, that, that's actually a good one. He hit you up in your DM. You send it to her. Hit, hit, send that to your sick. Get in his wife's inbox and say, as a black woman, as a black woman, my sister, my sister. Let me let you know what your nigga doing to me, and I don't want you hurt, black woman. That's right. That's true. I'm I agree. You. I want to protect you from this man that's going to hurt you. I totally agree with that. Let me put my lip gloss on because I have definitely let the girls hold it with that. <laughs> because it seems like we do pick and choose on where we want to protect. Where we want to protect. Right. Yeah. And you frustrated with me because you can't take me. For looking like a black woman and being born male and accepting me being trans, you get what I'm saying, having commentary. But if we're going to protect black women, let's do it in a circle, 360 degree circle all the way around. Get it, get it, instead of, instead of tell your sister to get off the internet and, and, and don't get on that jet. But get on it, get in his wife's inbox because you don't want to hurt her as another black woman. Yeah. We're golden it. Golden, we don't want you to leave. We want you to stay. Golden. More golden gone. 
We want Golden. Golden, don't go nowhere. We ain't running you off. We want you to be here. We just want we since we're doing it, we want accountability all the way around. No, she was she was just in here. She okay. I want golden to stay and enjoy the show. But don't do that black woman stuff. Don't do that. Don't do that. Not with me. You could do that with somebody else, but don't do that with me. Don't do that with me. Don't do that with us here on this show. Because one thing we do here on this show, we talk about everything. We uplift black women. We uplift black people in totality. But we also read motherfuckers. Black woman, black man, or black child. I don't give a fuck. But we're not dragging her. Okay, oh, you blocked her? Okay. Well, she can still watch block, but she just can't talk. Now, she gonna, run, she gonna run over there to McGilla's post and talk about how I won't be a dragon black. And she gonna run over to McGilla or Trashy K and talk about how I motherfucking drag black women. Okay. Like, like they do. That, that's what they do. Yeah, because cause I, I see, I, see, I mean, we, I, I think we see a lot of posts where there are women cheating on, I mean, that are getting cheated on and we don't we don't really talk about that we don't really talk about that we don't we just gloss over that right so women you know who you marry you you, you know who you marry women you know 99.9% of them time when them niggas are athletes first of all you know what a street nigga do to you Craig, are you there? I'm here. We know what a street nigga would do to you. You give a nigga money, make him a rich nigga? With, with the status? Make him a rich name brand nigga? You think he ain't gonna fuck off on you? <laughs> Bitch! You think he ain't going to fuck off on you? Who told you that? Especially if they never, especially. If Who they... told you that? This nigga got money and he used to be a hood street nigga that fucked around you on you with a bitch that halfway thought he was cute. Everybody think this nigga cute. Now he could fly you out. Man, you know what's even worse than that? The dudes that were having trouble with women when they were younger and then fall into money. You think they go, and then they marry you because you done stuck with them. <laughs> you think that it's over for you? Bitch, you in danger. <laughs> so you need to go in there with these situations, understanding and knowing that this is a possibility that yes, you might have good pussy. And your pussy may be good to him, and it may be delicious, delectable, divine. You may cook his chicken, fry his eggs, bake his meatloaf, and you <laughs> might even be able to bear all of his children. But do that? Can that bitch do that over there too? Ask yourself, can that bitch right there do that? Can that bitch right there do it? Can that bitch over there do it? Can she do it? Can you? Because that's what's in his mind. Oh, yeah, I got a good bitch at home, but bitch, can that bitch suck dick? And it ain't tricking if you got it. It ain't tricking if you got it. So know that you married that nigga because he rich too. Your problems have just begun. You married that nigga because he's a rich nigga too. Am I right about it? That's true. You might have loved him when he was ugly, but you definitely married him because he was a rich nigga. So you go in there with the intentions of what you got there for to be taken care of. To live great, to shop, to do the thing. You know what you got there for. You know that. You know the real true reason why you got with that nigga. You loved him, yes. He was a dog before you married him. He'll be a dog after. The money just gonna make it this much more bigger. You just want to hope to God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Ghost, that he don't fuck nobody in your circle and have no baby with him. You 
You just hope to God that he don't fuck nobody in your circle. That's woman or man. Because <laughs> they not above it. How many times you think I done been flued out? Don't, oh, don't let the weight fool you. Don't let me being fat fool you, bitch. How many times you think I done been flued out? And I'm going to tell you this, bitch, I was living comfortable before a lot of y'all even met before the internet even showed you exactly where I, who I was. I, when y'all first met me, again, y'all met me with titties at the top, dick at the bottom. And when y'all met me, I was living from, my windows was from the ceiling up there, 30 foot ceiling to the floor when you first met me. So of course, bitch, I, and I wasn't working nowhere on God's planet. So don't let yourself get fooled up in me being fat. <laughs> well, girl, you weren't fat then. I was. Oh, oh, I was called. I was classified as a BBW then. Really? I used to read the stuff like, "Damn, I'm not even fat like that." BBW. That's okay. What well, that is? So I'm just telling y'all, don't be confused with these like. Again, if that motherfucking busted seat, sweet pickle bus, or staying out there in my yard, motherfucking goddamn small bus driving ass bitch, then never say nothing in any lyric or any song that motherfucking had. That bitch said, you put your trust in a nigga, stupid hoe, how you figure. Ain't no more, ain't no other words more magical than that when, when knowing what you're dealing with. You put your trust in a nigga, stupid hoe. How you feel? You say, who flew me out? Listen, that ain't got nothing to do with y'all. You say, who flew me out? That ain't got nothing to do with y'all. That got something to do with me and mine. And I handled all my business. <laughs> <laughs> I handled all my business. See, y'all think because girls like Sydney Star and Amaya Scott and all them other skinny girls and no other girls that y'all that y'all think look more realer than me and all this type of shit. Y'all think that them the ones that all the niggas is and that might be the case because they are beautiful girls. But please, but bitch, don't get it twisted. But you know what I respect also? You keep your stuff to yourself. Don't get it twisted, bitch. I was living ceiling to float while y'all saw those girls in apartment buildings. And that's no shade. And they were in their apartment buildings. <laughs> Bitch, I had I had already. I bought a home. What did you I bought a home. And where were they living? And they were in their apartment. That's no shade to none of them. But it's just the but truth. There is a distinction between. <laughs> I bought a home. And where were they living? They were in their apartment. Where were they, where were they renting? <laughs> they were renting their apartment. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where they, they were living in their apartment. Really, Craig? And where were you? I was in my home. <laughs> and what, 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 what was in your home? Bitch, my, see, my windows were from ceiling, from 30 foot ceiling to the floor. And where were they renting? In their apartments. Oh, okay. Craig, you're a mess. <laughs> Craig, a mess. Craig, a mess. <laughs> Where were they in their apartment. <laughs> and where were you? In there, in my home. And, you, and what did you have? My ceilings, my were thirty foot from the ceiling to the floor. But, I'm, but it's sound, but these are all facts, though. Because <laughs> they were living in their apartments. <laughs> and you condoned this. They were nice apartments. <laughs> in my home. <laughs> Oh, there's no facts. And I'm actually about to buy another home. <laughs> With way higher ceilings. And those, and those windows? <laughs> where those windows are still in, where? in their apartment. <laughs> 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 but it's not, but I'm not shading them at all. No, I understand. But we, but a lot of times these girls get the get the facts twisted because they love to get on that. Because I saw a bitch right up on the on, vi on the video that post who fucking that fat oompa loompa bitch. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Just know that I got my windows go from thirty from thirty foot to the floor. <laughs> and before I was what you know now, I was a whore. <laughs> I was a whore. A what? A whore. <laughs> but you were living where? <laughs> In my home. <laughs> 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 
in other God. words, in other words, oh, you you are you are a rich God. whore. Oh, you're a rich whore. I just was a businesswoman. That's all. <laughs> wait, 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 what were you doing? A businesswoman. <laughs> <laughs> now they can say whatever they choose, but, but my business acumen is is definitely still up to par, even to this day. Oh my god, you're a businesswoman. Correct. <laughs> Brokering deal. Brokering deal. Brokering I mean, deal. no shame. Major deals. <laughs> Major deals. Correct. <laughs> even <laughs> to this day. <diet. laughs> And those girls are still anywhere. They might be in their apartment. <laughs> <laughs> or some of them are just now buying their first home. Oh. Or sharing a couch. Or whatever. <laughs> Dear Lord. <laughs> or whatever. Dear I'm not Lord. shading them. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, and they are beautiful girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Beautiful oh, girls. God. <laughs> so it says, say Craig they home, beautiful girls. <laughs> they are say beautiful Craig home. <laughs> they are beautiful girls, and they are real as rain. Okay. They are uh, real as rain, real as running water. Okay. But that never meant anything to me. No, that's right. Because when they used to say down in Miami, go down there with the girls. That's what they used to do. Listen, even when I lived in Miami, my business action men was a little bit different. Uh-huh. Those girls were worried about beauty. I was worried about the bucks. What were they worried about? Beauty. And you were worried about the bucks. That's right. And the business. Beauty and business don't mean a mother. Beauty don't mean a motherfucking thing. Business means everything to me. And a lot of those girls are now what? Dead. And broke. Or broke. Dead first. <laughs> and then what? Broke. <laughs> Wait, I thought it was broke, then dead. Woo! Yeah, a little that too. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! My God today. Beauty and bucks. That's, that's, they don't have nothing, you know. This is what we're saying. That's a distinction. <laughs> so again, the person, the question, the comment says, who, asked, who flew me out? That's between me and mine. 